Hello, this is video log 34 on the 12th of October and I'm out at the Literature Festival um, to do a bit more work for my illustration project. So I'm just going around with my sketchbook and my wheelchair um, drawing people that I see that look interesting and that fit with the theme I'm working with. Hello, so I am back home now and um, I've really messed up today. Um, for one thing I've just come up here in the loft and like covered myself in like this plaster dust um, and made a complete mess of all my clothes. Um, but there's been quite a few problems today. Um, first of all I'm a bit anxious because um, my partner who cares for me has been offered a new job that doesn't start for a while because the place isn't open yet but I'm nervous because if I, even though he's trying to work it around my mum's hours so that there'll be people to care for me I still don't think that he'll you know be able to cope with doing all that and I try and avoid talking about him too much on here because he's a quiet private person and I respect that um, so basically this is just about um, my worries um, about wh how I'll cope if I have less care or just whether he'll still be able to do things um, for me that I, he normally does that I need um, at home because he's like, not been working up to now, he's been my full time carer. So um, I'm a bit stressed about that now that that's just happened um, but I'm just gonna sort of put that to the back of my mind for now because um, the job doesn't start for a while anyway a couple of months till it opens so I um, can think about that more and you know try and deal with it somehow in future. Um, today I really messed up uh, as you saw just before I went into town to um, actually, the reason I went there was to meet up with the disability advisor at the university. Um, I had a meeting scheduled with him because they just wanted to speak about what sort of safety concerns there might be about me going on trips away from the university. And I think it's great they're keeping on top of all that stuff. And um, definitely my tutor has been uh, really good in listening and respecting you know, the issues that I've brought up that might happen and uh, making sure that other students are with me and things like that and you know I appreciate that I think he's done more than could reasonably be expected in the circumstances um, you know if only my doctors would take me half as seriously anyway um, so I went to that meeting um, and bought a cup of tea put like four or five sugars in it um, and I had that during the meeting then I left the university and I went to um, this book festival and the reason I went there is because um, I actually didn't manage to do a video yesterday but that's where um, we went on our, you know, to do our practical work because our task was to draw an illustration of Cheltenham Literature Festival basically. Um, so we had to sort of interpret it through our own viewpoint um, and draw little sketches that fit with that viewpoint then when we get home we sort of work on them more and um, like combine different aspects of them to create an overall illustration of the place. Um, so um, it was very very cold and wet and windy yesterday when I went there um, and it was really bleak, there was barely anybody there, all the bunting and lights and stuff that they put up to try and make it look cheerful just looked like so depressing, the bunting was just blowing over and like um, all the books were, that were like attached to the ceiling of, some, of this bandstand with like invisible string were just like falling off in the wind and there was this woman just sitting in a deck chair with like, she was sitting there, clothes were blowing across her, there was like water pouring down her face and she just sat down, put her shopping bags down, opened the Sunday Times newspaper and just started reading it like that, British stiff upper lip. 
it's just really odd. There was a bunch of people doing stuff like that. So that's kind of what my illustrations are about. And I guess I just went back today to see if there was anything else interesting. Um, but I didn't actually end up getting any sketches done. But I had to look around and refresh my memory. And then I realised I'd messed up. Because at some point while I was there, I, it, I had got low blood sugar. Um, I sort of became aware that I'd just been zoned out and that I didn't know what I'd been doing for the past like hour or more. Um, and then I decided to leave the area in my wheelchair. I went down to the bus stop and the sign for the bus stop um, had stopped working. Um, so basically I couldn't see when the next bus was and it was too cold in the state I was in for me to stay outside because the low blood sugar and being cold just sort of combined with each other to create a sort of really dangerous, horrible state where I'm like barely conscious. So um, I went inside the shopping centre um, and I, I don't know, recall all, all the things I did in there, but I think I replied to some messages on Facebook and then realised my phone battery had died and I now had like no way of calling anybody like Jamie or my mum or someone else I knew to try and get help. Um, so I don't, I mean a lot of that memory of that is quite blank um, but I recall that I um, went into some food shops looking for something to eat but I, knew, I still knew um, what things I couldn't eat um, so I couldn't find anything suitable whatsoever in all the shops I looked in and I actually made the problem much worse because one of the things that happens to people normally and also happens to me is that when you smell food and see food you actually your body already starts releasing insulin which is what your body creates to lower your blood sugar to take all the sugar out of your blood into your sort of cells and stuff so that you can use it for energy so I realised I'd like released all this insulin which because I already had low blood sugar had made the problem significantly worse and then I have no memory of what happened next but I just know that I felt really vulnerable um, and scared um, but at the same time I was really out of it and then I felt that I sort of came round at some point and I was on the bus on the way home so I'd actually managed to sort of somehow managed to find out when the bus was um, get on it and I came round sort of around the time we were just coming into my village maybe recognising the area helped um, so I just got off the bus um, and I was really not with it I crashed my wheelchair straight into a bush when I was coming off the bus ramp and obviously everyone on the bus was like really amused but I just barely noticed and then I went across the road to get back to my house, just outside my house, and I, for some reason, drove straight out in front of a car that then had to slam the brakes on and swerve to avoid me, and I just managed to just avoid it. Um, but I nearly got myself hit by a car. Um, and then I got home, and Jamie was here, and he made me some tea and some dinner, and... Um, I've sort of recovered quite well now but I don't know if you can tell at all but I'm still not completely myself um, and this is one of the infuriating things about it is that it has a sort of knock-on effect for the rest of the day and sometimes for days afterwards. I suppose I knew something like that was going to happen now that I've started going out in my wheelchair to town and to university um, because I'd previously not been able to do that, partly because of the low blood sugar problems, but also because I just couldn't possibly wheel the manual wheelchair far enough on the like bumpy curbs and stuff to even go to town. Um, and I can't do it at all now that my arm's messed up. Um, and it's still about the same, by the way. Um, I think I've just got used to sort of using it in this awkward way. Um, so that's about it for today I think. Um, I do know that I did have a nice time at university in the morning yesterday because I met up with um, another a girl on my course and hung out with her and played games and that was fun. 
Um, and sorry, I can just hear my mum coming home from work, so I think I better go. Bye bye for now.